This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Leanne McMichael with the Onstead Community School District. Congratulations. Thank you. We have a video from your nominator. Let's take a look. I nominated Leanne McMichael because I know she has a passion for art and a passion for her students. She does the best projects. She is always searching for the latest in technology and the latest uh, projects that she can do with her kids and her students really appreciate it. She has always has full classes. They are all excited to learn and they just love her way of teaching and they love her. She is one of the favorite teachers at her school. And since she started out right out of college at a rural uh, Michigan school, very small, without an art program, she took that to a really great art program by bringing in her own supplies, her own furniture even, and that just shows you the kind of passion and desire that she has to help students really appreciate art and appreciate um, what they can learn in that field. And I believe that Leanne is truly deserving of this award for as much as she gives to the program and as much as she gives to her students and the school. So congratulations, Leanne. What goes through your mind as you were watching that? Uh, I mean, it just brings back a lot of memories from, you know, the time I first started teaching until now and how, uh, how much I have given towards the program. And it's, it's nice that um, that's recognized by other people. I understand your classroom is really interactive and alive. Tell me about that. How do you do that? Yeah, so I have a very challenging like classroom space to work in. I have actually like two rooms that are kind of connected in the middle. Um, I have a lot of technology. I love technology, so I've always been a proponent for technology in my classroom. But I, um, since it's an art classroom, I always have studio time. So it's not me just talking at them the whole time. It's, all right, let's talk about how we can make these this artwork cool, how we can um, make it more aesthetically pleasing, and then they get time to work. So my students get to interact with each other, they get to interact with me, I get to go and sit at the, at the kids' desks, which you don't get to do in a lot of other classes. So I really get to know the students and connect with them. And then I also get to see how they can um, do something that's not, you know, math or science, something that's different for them. So that's very cool. I understand that you think teaching is a lifestyle. Describe that to me. It really is. Um, there's, it's not like you can just leave your job there. You don't get to leave it there. When you are done with your teaching day, you're thinking about like, what's my last, next lesson gonna be? Um, what can I do? Oh, this isn't working. How can I change this? And then you're always thinking like, oh, one of my students has a basketball game tonight. I need to go support them. It's just kind of, it just kind of gets involved in every single aspect of your life. Yeah. You talked about using technology in the classroom, and I think about that because there's phones, there's different things that could be a yeah. distraction. <laughs> How do you relay that into what yeah. you do? Yeah. Um, since it's high school, uh, a lot of times we can kind of teach students how to use technology for good. So yeah, it might be fun to use certain apps on their own when they're in the social interactions with their friends and such. But we, um, all my students have online portfolios. When they turn in their artwork, they turn it in online before they turn it into the folder. So mm -hmm. they all have this digital for portfolio that kind of moves forward. We do things with stop motion um, and we use different apps um, just from their own devices. Or I always have um, a, an iPad that they can use if they don't have devices of their own. What do you say to the kids who may not be inspired that day to do art or, you know, art is sort of one of those things that you... you yeah, know. just just like you can have writer's block, you can have artist block. So I always have some kind of music going in the background. Um, I always have things. My room is very colorful. I have murals. I have posters. I always have things around for students to look at. So there's not a whole lot of time when students are just sitting going, I have no idea what to do because there's always ideas hanging around. Tell me about a time where a student started and may not have been as artistic, and then when they're done, it's like incredible. That always happens. Um, I have so many students that come into class and they're just like, I'm just getting this because I need the credit. I need the credit. And by the end, usually they're like, what can, What other class can I take? Can I take more art classes? So um, it's, it's cool to see students um, start off with something and then realize like, wow, this is not as hard as I thought, or wow, I'm actually kind of okay at this. How do the students inspire you? 
I always see the way that they interact with each other and all of the problems that they have to work through. And number one, that makes me feel better about like what I'm going through because my problems are way different than theirs are. Um, I always like to see um, how excited they are when they come into my room and how my room is kind of a place that kids want to come and hang out in. I have kids that I haven't even seen in, you know, two years and they'll come in to see my crazy spirit day outfit or can I charge my phone on your charging station or um, just coming in to say hi. So it's I like that that's kind of the zone that I have for my art room. Sounds like you really care about your students. Of course I do. <laughs> well, thank you for what you do. Thank you. Leanne receives a $1,500 check from the Michigan Lottery and her class at Onstead High School receives a $500 grant. Excellence in Education Awards sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $27 billion to public education since 1972.